the intumescent white cataracts post challenges in every step of the cataract surgery. The capsular hexis is the most challenging step followed by nucleus management. The capsular hexis is prone to anterior capsular radial tear extension or also known as Argentinian flag sign. The nucleus management by FACO emulsification becomes further risky in the presence of the Argentinian flag sign. In this video we will discuss the how to achieve intact capsular hexis in maximum numbers of cases, if intact capsular hexis is not achieved then how to proceed for safe nucleus management. First and foremost aim is to achieve intact capsular hexis. If intact capsular hexis is achieved then nucleus management can be done either FACO in not very hard and large nucleus or by manual small incision cataract surgery if nucleus is very hard and large. If intact capsular hexis is not achieved then opted for manual small incision cataract surgery. Anterior capsule is stained with tripan blue dye anterior chamber is filled preferably cohesive viscoelastics. We have used sodium hyaluronate 1.4% in this case. Three stage capsular hexis is attempted, stage 1 mini capsular hexis. A mini capsular hexis of about 2 mm is made by needle cystado mentored through side port. Capsular hexis from main port should be avoided as it might sudden collapse the anterior chamber and leads to the Argentinian flag sign. Stage 2 lens bag decompression. The lens bag is decompressed by aspirating liquefied cortical matter by aspirating cannula. Stage 3 Capsular Hexis Enlargement Anterior surface of the anterior capsule is made flat by placing enough viscoelastics over it. A curvilinear cut is given in the capsular hexis margin and enlarged by lifting and tearing using capsular hexis forceps. We use reverse chop nucleotomy technique in intumescent white cataracts. The FACO probe tip is buried into the nucleus then the nucleus lifted up. Then the chopper is moved from posterior pole to anterior pole of the nucleus and nucleus is chopped. This process is repeated again and again several times to do multiple small nucleus fragments. Each nuclear fragment is emulsified one by one. FACO settings were used in this case as follows vacuum 350 hg FACO power 50 aspiration flow rate 32 cc per minute. The last fragment should be emulsified cautiously with step down parameters. We prefer emulsification of the last one or two fragments after intraocular lens implantation also known as emulsification under IOL scaffold. IOL scaffolding further increased the safety. In this case three-stage capsular hexis was successful and nucleus was found very hard and large so we planned it 6 mm intratunnel FACO fracture mzics as FACO might be risky in such cases. Enough viscoelastics is placed in front and behind the nucleus to keep it away from endothelium and iris. Vectus is introduced into the anterior chamber and nucleus taken into its lap then pulled straight in posteriorly by pressing floor of the tunnel. When the nucleus is entangled into the tunnel then Vectus is pulled up and posteriorly. This will cause nucleus fracture inside the tunnel. Posterior nucleus fragment is taken out while remaining fragment is pushed back into the AC. Again viscoelastics place around the nucleus fragment and taken out. Cortical matter cleaned up and 6 mm PMMAIO implanted. Please have a look on this intratunnel FACO fracture mechanism animation to understand it better. The capsular hexis was started with 26 gauze needle cystodome from the sign port. The anterior capsular radial tear extension also known as Argentinian flag sign happened just after starting the capsular hexis. The vertical opening in the anterior capsule converted into an almost circular opening by can opener capsulotomy. The lens matter is expressed out by hydrojet as this was a very soft cataract. If it would be a hard nucleus then it could be managed by manual small cataract surgery. 
The interior chamber is filled with viscoelastics and the remaining anterior tags were removed. The PMMA iole was implanted in the bag and anterior chamber cleaned irrigation aspiration cannula. Use cohesive viscoelastics preferably dot three stage capsular hexes by needle cystato more by 23 G forceps from side port. Intact capsular hexes, go for faco emulsification if the nucleus is not too large or hard. Intact capsular hexes, go for MSICS if the nucleus is too large or hard. Non-intact capsular hexes, go for MSICS.